People spend about 80 to 90% of their time indoors. They sleep, they work, they eat, they study indoors. This is crucial because over the last 100 years, we totally disconnected the indoors from the outdoors. And in particular in winter time, we create a desert environment indoors. Condair is the world market leader in industrial and commercial humidification. Together with evaporative cooling and dehumidification, we are a solution provider in humidity control. We are present all over the world in more than 50 countries. The company uh, is existing since 75 years. We want to increase the humidity in indoor spaces in order that is more comfortable and more healthy for people to live in. We have been working together with medical doctors and leading scientists since the 1960s to analyze the negative effects of low humidity for the human health. The humidity of the room that we live in has an impact on our respiratory immune system uh, because it controls the amount of moisture that our uh, mucus layer contains. So the lining of the respiratory tract um, is covered by a mucus layer, which um, has a lot of water content. When you inhale dry air, that water content decreases and becomes very thick. And our body is no longer able to get rid of inhaled particles like viruses and bacteria and allowing the pathogens to then infect and replicate and cause diseases. Uh, so the, the environmental air that we inhale is very important, especially the temperature and the humidity. So the humidity of the room can affect the virus um, that is in the air in, in multiple forms. Uh, first, the dry air allowed the viral particle containing material to, to dry up, and that preserves the virus so that the virus can travel for much longer distance and can remain in the air for a longer time period which allows the virus the opportunity to infect the next host. It gets very dry in many buildings, especially in the winter months, as we import dry air from the outside and then heat that air to a optimal temperature. And what that does is that you're not increasing the amount of water content in the air and just drying the air even further by increasing the temperature. And so we end up uh, living in situations of, you know, 15%, 20% relative humidity, which is quite dry and could be dangerous to, to the host. If companies maintained a proper indoor air quality, in particular with a relative humidity between 40 and 60%, they would benefit tremendously by actually increasing productivity with the protection of occupants' health and therefore decrease absenteeism and improve performance. Buildings serve three main purposes. First of all, they have to offer a protective structure. Second, they have to optimize the energy consumption. And third, they have to protect people's health. All this can only be accomplished with a holistic approach, taking all these aspects into consideration. Condair equipment can be found in literally any building or any application. We cover industrial processes like printing and packaging or electronic manufacturing. On the other hand, we cover many, many commercial buildings, be it hospitals, hotels, offices. Condair's claim is humidity for a better life. In the coming years, we want to live up to this claim by installing as many humidifiers as possible so that the life of people living on the planet becomes better. There are many prominent references where you would find Condair installed. Like for instance, the White House, the Buckingham Palace, Sydney Opera, NASA Kennedy Space Center, or El Philharmonie or the Louvre. It is our vision to create healthier built environments and increase productivity with the optimal humidity for a better life.